Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about exercise 3.10 from the chapter Motion in a Straight Line of class 11 physics. See, the question is, a player throws a ball upwards with an initial speed of 29.4 meter second raised to minus 1. Let us see the first question. What is the direction of acceleration during the upward motion of the ball? After discussing the first one, we will discuss B, C and D. So, you see what is the direction of acceleration during the upward motion of the ball? That is the first question. You see, irrespective of the direction of motion of the ball, the acceleration, which is actually the acceleration due to gravity in this case, because the ball uh, will be in the free fall motion. So, the acceleration due to gravity, we know that it always acts in the vertically downward direction, that is towards the center of the earth. So, what is the direction of acceleration during the upward motion of the ball? It will be in the downward direction. Okay downward direction now let us see the b question what are the velocity and acceleration of the ball at the highest a point of its motion that is suppose the ball started its motion from here it moves in the vertically upward direction suppose it reaches somewhere here which is the maximum height and after that definitely it will come in the downward direction so, at the maximum height, what will be the direction, I mean, what will be the value of velocity and acceleration of the ball? That is the question. So, you see, at the maximum height, velocity of the ball, it actually becomes 0. So, we can write it as 0 meter per second. Okay, now, you see, the acceleration of the ball, it is the acceleration due to gravity. Because when the ball is moving in the upward direction, the only force acting on that ball is the earth's gravitational force. So, its acceleration will be due to that force which, which is actually known as the acceleration due to gravity. And you see this acceleration of the ball which is the acceleration due to gravity. And this acceleration due to gravity at a given place, it is a constant and acts on the ball at all points including the highest point with a constant value that is g equals 9.8 meter second raised to minus 2. Now, let us see the third one. C. Choose the x equals 0 meter and t equals 0 second to be the location and time of the ball at its highest point, vertically downward direction to be the positive direction of x axis and give the signs of position velocity and acceleration of the ball during its upward and downward motion. You see, we usually take the origin, at the origin we take x equals 0 meter and t equals 0 seconds and we usually take the upward direction as positive direction and downward direction as negative direction. But, as per the question C, they asked us to choose the x equals 0 meter and t equals 0 second to be the location and time of the ball at its highest point. So, let this be the highest point of the ball. Now, they asked us to take the vertically downward direction okay, to be the positive direction of x axis. That is, this is the plus x axis. Then, by taking this assumption, we want to give the signs of position, velocity and acceleration of the ball during its upward and downward motion. So, suppose that uh, this is the floor or the ground. Okay, uh, this is the, this point P. It is the highest point of the ball. We took that highest point as x equals 0 and t equals 0, uh, 0 seconds. And we took uh, the vertically downward direction as the positive x direction. Okay. Now, first of all, we want to give the sign of position during the upward motion and downward motion of the ball. Okay. So, here I am writing upward motion. And here downward motion. First of all, we want to know about the 
sign of position during the upward motion and downward motion of the ball. So you see, uh, we know that this since this is a positive x-axis, this is x equals zero. So let this be x equals one, uh, two, three, four, etc. All are positive values because this is the positive x-axis. It is given that the ball is moving in the upward direction. First case, upward direction. So the ball is moving in the upward direction. Suppose the ball reaches somewhere here. So what is its position at that time? It is two meter on the positive x-axis. So plus two. Right now, when it reaches here, what is its position? It is one meter on the positive x-axis. So what will be the sign of position during the upward motion of the ball? It will be positive. Okay. Now. Suppose the ball is moving in the vertically downward direction. So ball uh, will reach here, then reach here, then will reach here, then will reach here. But all these positions are along the positive x-axis. So its position during the downward uh, motion that will also be positive. Now, what about the direction of? Sorry, what about the uh, sign of? Velocity during the upward motion as well as during the downward motion of the ball. You see, we know that velocity is actually displacement divided by time taken. We know that displacement is a vector quantity which has a direction uh, which is directed from the initial position to the final position. So you see, when we consider the upward motion of the ball, the ball is moving in the upward direction. So suppose uh, it is initially somewhere here, then it reaches here. Okay, so what about its uh, displacement? What about the direction of its displacement from the initial position to the final position? So the direction of its displacement will be in the upward direction that is opposite to the positive x direction. You see the vertically downward direction is the positive x direction. Displacement is a vector which is directed from the initial position to the final position. So during the upward motion of the ball, it will be directed along the, uh, you know, opposite to the positive x direction. So displacement will be positive, do, I'm sorry, uh, negative during the, you know, opposite to the positive x direction means along the negative x direction. That is opposite to positive x axis means it is along the negative x axis. So displacement will be negative during the upward motion. Hence velocity. Okay. So velocity during the upward motion of the ball will be negative. Now when you consider the downward motion of the ball. When you consider the downward motion of the ball. Suppose you know it is moving in the vertically downward direction. Suppose the ball is initially somewhere here. Then it reaches here. So what about its displacement? It is directed from the initial position to the final position that is in the vertically downward direction which is along the positive x direction. Okay, so displacement is positive here and hence velocity. So velocity will be positive during the downward motion of the ball. Now, what about the direction of its acceleration during the upward motion of the ball as well as during the downward motion of the ball? You see, whether the ball is moving in the upward direction or the downward direction, whatever be the direction of motion of the ball, the acceleration of that ball is actually equal to the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is always in the vertically downward direction. The ball can be moving in the upward direction. The ball can be moving in the downward direction. In both the cases, its acceleration is acceleration due to gravity which is always in the vertically downward direction. Vertically downward direction means along the positive x direction. So acceleration will be positive uh, on both upward and downward motion of the ball. Now let us see the next question D. To what height does the ball rise and after how long does the ball return to the player's hands? Take G equals 9.8 meters second raised to minus 2. And neglect air resistance. See in the question it is given that a player throws a ball upwards with an initial speed of 29.4 meters second is to minus 1. So initial speed is given. We want to find out the maximum height of the ball as well as after how long the ball does the ball return to the player's hands. That is the total time taken by the ball to come back to the player's hand. 
See, it is given in the question that the initial speed u or v0, okay, you can take it as u or v0, which is equal to 29.4 meter second raised to minus 1. First of all, we want to find out the maximum height the ball rises. So, you see, we know that at the maximum height, the velocity of that ball is 0. That is, the final velocity v is equal to 0 meter second raised to minus 1 because at the maximum height, its velocity is equal to 0. Okay, we want to find out that maximum height. That is, suppose the ball has thrown from here. This is the ground or player's hand. It is moving in the upward direction, reaches a maximum point. So, you see, this p is the maximum, you know, uh, the highest point. So, let this distance be x, which is a distance or which is a height travelled by this ball. We want to find out this x. Okay. So, at the maximum height, v equals 0 meter second raised to minus 1. Its initial speed is given as 29.4 meter second raised to minus 1. We know that in this case, the acceleration of the ball is acceleration due to gravity. Okay. And you see... Here I am taking the upward direction as positive x direction and downward direction as negative x direction. So you see, when the ball is moving in the upward direction, its acceleration will be the acceleration due to gravity which is in the downward direction that is along the negative x direction. So we have to take this a as minus g which is minus 9.8 meter second raised to minus 2. See this negative and positive signs, it is, uh, it is uh, up to, you know, it is based on the coordinate system that we are choosing. Here I have taken the upward direction as positive x direction and downward direction as negative x direction. So when the ball is moving in the upward direction, acceleration will be in the downward direction. That is why I have taken it as minus 9.8 meter second is to minus 2 or minus g. Okay, now we want to find out the maximum height, that is we want to find out x. So, here we can use this equation. 1 is v uh, square. So, uh, v square equals u square plus 2a s. Or, you can use v square equals v0 square plus 2ax. Both are the same equation. Instead of u, here we are using v0. Instead of s, here we are using x. Both are the same equations. Okay. So, I am using this. v square equals v0 square plus 2ax. See, what about V? Final velocity is 0. 0 square is 0. Equals. V0 square. Then, acceleration A is minus G. So, minus 2GX. If you take this minus 2GX to this side of the equation, it becomes plus. So, 2GX equals V0 square. Okay. From this, we can write X, which we want to find out. X is the maximum height. Uh, then, X equals V0 square by 2G. Okay, what is the value of V0 square? V0, V0 is 29.4. So, V0 square 29.4 into 29.4 divided by 2 into 9.8. Now, you see 9.8 into 3 is 29.4. Okay, so here we are getting it as 29.4 into 3 divided by 2. When you do this, you will get it as 44.1 meter. You see, it is the maximum height. As the unit is meter, so 44.1 meter. So, the maximum height of the ball will be 44.1 meter. Now, we want to find out the time taken by the ball to come back to the player's hand from the maximum height. Uh, that is, actually, we want to find out the total time taken by the ball to come back to the player's hand. That is, you see... Suppose the ball has thrown from this ground. It is moving in the upward direction, reached its maximum height. So, it might have taken uh, some time t to reach its maximum height. Then after some time, it I mean, uh, it will come down. See, the time of accent will be equal to the time of descent. So, this also will be t. So, total time will be what? t plus t, which is equal to 2t. Okay. So, first of all, let us find out the time taken to reach the maximum height. That will be equal to the time taken to come back from the maximum height to the ground. So, by adding these two, you will be getting the total time. So, to find out the time taken to reach the maximum height, 
I am using one of the three equations of kinematic equations of motion. That is V equals U plus AT or you can use V equals V0 plus AT. That is instead of U, here I have used V0 which is the initial velocity. Okay. So you see, we want to find out the time. Uh, we are just finding out the time to reach the maximum height. So we know that at the maximum height, velocity is 0. So 0 equals Initial velocity is given as 29.4. See this A which is minus G into T. So when we take this minus G T to this side it becomes plus. So that you can write G T equals 29.4. So T equals 29.4 divided by G which is 29.4 divided by 9.83. So this is equal to 3 seconds. That is the time taken to reach the maximum height is 3 seconds. So time taken to reach the maximum height is 3 seconds. Then time of ascent, it is actually equal to the time of descent. So time to come back to the player's hand from the maximum height, that also will be 3 seconds. I hope you are getting me. Uh, this is the ground or player's hand. Time taken to reach the maximum height is 3 seconds. And the time taken to come back to the player's hand from the maximum height that also will be 3 seconds. So the total time taken by the ball to come back to the player's hand that will be equal to 3 seconds plus 3 seconds which is equal to 6 seconds. Hence the total time taken by the ball to return to the player's hands it is equal to 6 seconds. So in this video we have discussed about this exercise question 3.10 from the chapter motion in a straight line of class 11 physics. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.